Hey friends, and welcome to Storytime. Today I'm going to read you Water by Frank Ash. Let's look at the picture on the cover of the story. What do you notice? I see lots of beautiful colors in this picture. I can see a boat and fish and turtles. Does that look like water to you? Hmm, not really. What you're gonna notice about the pictures in this book is Frank Ash uses lots of beautiful watercolor paints to make illustrations in the story. It's really pretty to look at and not everything is the right color it should be. And that's okay. Let's read together. Water. Look at those cool raindrops. I love the colors in them. Water is rain. Water is dew. Do you know what the dew is? That's when you go outside in the morning and the grass feels wet, even though it didn't rain. Water is ice and snow. But could you imagine if snowflakes really were rainbow colors and not just white? That'd be so awesome. Water is high in the sky. Hmm. How is water high in the sky? It's because clouds are made of tons and tons of tiny little water droplets. That's where the rain comes from, the clouds. Water is deep in the earth. In this picture, you can see all the different water channels that are underneath the earth. That's how we get more our well water. My house uses well water because there's water deep, deep, deep down in the earth. Water is a tiny brook growing bigger and bigger. A brook is like a really small, small river. Water is a waterfall and mist. Mist is the, when the water is looks like steam and it's cloudy out. Water is a small pond and a large lake. Water is what fish breathe. Wow, fish breathe water. What do we breathe? We breathe air. And flowers drink. Flowers drink water. Do we drink water? We sure do. Water is a salty tear. Oh, look. Person is crying. Our tears are made of water. Water is a flood. Do you know what a flood is? That's when there's so much water that it covers the land, places where water should not be. Water is a long, winding river. Do you see where water is in this picture? I can see a firefighter using water to put out the fire in this house. I see someone using a hose to spray water to wash their car. I see someone having a nice drink, probably water. I see someone using water in their bathtub to get clean. I see someone playing by a fire hydrant that sprays water. I see puddles on the ground for jumping. And I see a water fountain over here. Do you see any other places where there's water? I bet you do. The water is flowing to the sea. That's right, rivers all flow back to the ocean. The end. It was a really great book. I really enjoyed looking at the pictures in that story. It makes me really excited to grab my watercolor paint. So I think since today is Artsy Thursday, that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to teach you guys some ways you can do some watercolor painting at home. And I even have a recipe to share with you on how to make your own watercolor paints using things you have already in your kitchen. All right, my friends, thank you for listening to my story, and I'll see you guys later for some more videos. Bye!